All right, so I've got my uh, tankless water heater installed. Kind of didn't record it, but you know, skipping a lot of recording. Just uh, too much work, takes too much out of my time. So right here, this is where the shower fan is going to be. Uh, toilet's going to be right here. And uh, I'm going to put a small sink up here. So this is going to be a bathroom area in the front of this V-nose. Already got front of it insulated. Let's go on the outside. All right, this is what it looks like from the outside. Tankless water heater. All right, trailer looks like a mess. I'm installing this fan in the bathroom. So I've got, got my uh, support, roof support for the fan welded in. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this hole open. All right, the hole is cut out. Time to put the uh, vent in. Okay, double sided tape on, a little bit of sealant, a little bit of sealant here in the hole, time to put it in. Okay, it's in. Put a couple screws in and seal all the holes. Alright. So the vent is in. Everything's caulked. Just gonna go ahead and uh, smooth this out, butter this out. To make sure it's nice and sealed. All right, I think this is it. it. Looks pretty good. This one's from the factory. Kind of close, but I'm not going to move it. So. so this trailer already had uh, the vent installed, but without the fan. Uh, the brand is uh, Ventline, I believe. I looked it up. So on Amazon. I got the whole new vent with cover and all. I don't know, it was like pretty cheap. I'll try to put a link down in the description. But it came with a little fan. So I figured I would just unscrew these two rivets and mount the fan right up there. And as you can see, the hole's already pre-drilled. And this cover with a switch and with a screen on it will just snap back in place. Uh, should be good. So it's gonna look just like that.
right, so that was an easy install. Just gotta solder these wires together. And yeah, it's all good. So the project continues. I've decided to lift this trailer to give it a little bit more clearance. I know there are a lot more options. But uh, this is a four inch drop axle. And I know I can put this spring over the axle to raise it up. But I've decided to go the hard route and I ordered new straight axle beams. So I'm gonna get rid of that four inch drop which is gonna give me a, an extra four inch lift. So hopefully everything is gonna just swap out this brake assembly and bearings and all that stuff onto uh, new axle beams. Let's see if we can just remove this cap. Oh. Looks good. Well, the trailer is brand new, so I don't expect anything wrong with it. Wipe it down. Because I need to expose this cutter ring so I can remove it and remove the nut. There it is, there's the cutter ring. Some smaller trailers will have like a cutter pin going through it. These are Dexter axles, so that's what it looks like. All right, so it turns out I don't have a socket that size. I mean, this is the biggest one I got, one and seven sixteenths. And I think this one is an inch and a half. But to my surprise, it wasn't, this nut wasn't even tight. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. But I was able to just undo it by, with my fingers, by hand. That's crazy. Okay, so I think the drum will come off, hopefully. I'm not a pro, first time doing it, so I'm just showing it to you. So take notes if you want, but always consult the professional. Uh, bearings, got it. All right, this is the drum. All right, 916, so I wasn't sure if it was metric or standard. It turns out to be standard. These are not torqued at all. Feels like maybe 10 pounds. And once again, I'm not really sure what I'm doing first time doing this kind of stuff, taking the axles apart and swapping out the beams. So always, always consult the professional. Uh, all right, this is actually easier than I thought. Just have to disconnect these wires, I guess. Now I'm just going to remove these U-bolts. Thank God the trailer is brand new still. This is super easy. Nothing is rusted yet. And it gets messy from all this grease everywhere. So wear gloves unless you like to feel what you touch. All 
that now to the wires. They're all crimped together. I think I'm just gonna solder them. Okay, so I think wiring is done. I'm just gonna add a little bit of electrical tape. Put some U bolts back in. <clears throat> I think I got it. I'm gonna remove this one first. Get rid of it so it's not in the way. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. Man, these are heavy. Ugh. All right, put the U bolts back in place. Back, back on. Okay, nice and tight. All right, I think I'm gonna just grease this up a little bit more, just in case. So I've got the wheels back on. I don't know how I feel about this big gap, large gap now, between the, the wheel well and, and the tire. Am I gonna have to do something about it? I just don't feel like cutting those wheel wells and re-welding them down. It just seems like it's gonna be way too much work. Got straight axles now. So these are kind of tall now, but I thought about cutting them down. It just, it just seems like a lot of work. We'll see if it bothers me enough, I'll just do something about it. Mm -hmm. 